One of the most important uh, German thrust metal bands or tectonic thrust metal bands is of course Creator. We know that we have the, the big three of German thrust, Creator, Sodom, Destruction, or the big four from Germany, if also we uh, can put inside Tankard, of course. In any case, Creator has uh, also Sodom and Destruction with their first albums. They were also very a, a big influence to the first uh, wave of black metal. So uh, today I will speak about Creator. I will try to rank their albums from worst to best, or maybe even better, let's say from the less beloved to the more beloved albums of them. Uh, they don't have really bad albums, but they have uh, some albums that they are controversial, or maybe they are not exactly thrash metal albums. Creator, they are. Uh, there is a band from Germany, from Essen of Germany, that they started uh, their story for in 1982, and uh, until now they are. They have uh, 38 years of existence. Mile Petroza and uh, Vendor, the drummer, they are the members that they are in uh, in the they continue until now from the beginning until now. Vendor. He was not in all in all in all albums, and they changed them uh, many times. You know, many times the the members of the band. Now, until now, they have fourteen albums, and uh, I will try. It. If if also I have to say that um, if we want to to, to make a, a difference about. Uh, Different periods of the band. First of all, we have the first period of the four of the, of the five thrash metal uh, albums of the beginning. That this is the golden age of Creator. Afterwards, we have the second period. That is the period that uh, Creator tried to make something else. They are going in the, inside to industrial, to groove metal, to gothic metal, gothic rock. Uh, four albums uh, that uh, they are inside this uh, situation, and also we have to remember in these years in the late in, in the late 90s, uh, uh, this is the same situation in many uh, metal bands, in the many thrash uh, metal bands, also destruction. In this situation, they became a little bit more grunge. Uh, Sodom they became they, they became even more punk, crust punk. Metallica we know load reload. Megadeth with Risk Slayer, even Slayer, they became a little bit punk hardcore. In any case, many bands, a Testament, they became a little bit, a bit more death metal. <clears throat> In these days, most of the bands uh, of thrash metal, especially, they tried to find something else. Also, Creator, they became in the beginning more industrial and, and groove metal, afterwards, even more gothic. And the third period begins with uh, Violent Revolution in 2001, that they became back to the roots, back to thrust metal, and until uh, from Violent Revolution until now, they have the other five albums of thrust metal. Okay, now, so I will try to rank them from worst to best. In the 14th place for me comes. The ninth album of them, Endorama, of 1999. Uh, this album is a, is a not bad album, but is a so is not thrash album. It's not thrash album, and we didn't expect it from them. This is the album that uh, the gothic elements are of gothic rock, rock and gothic metal are the most strong elements in this album. Now. In the 13th place, the album Renewal of 1992. This is the first album that they started uh, to not to be exactly thrash metal. In, this is the sixth album of them, and in this album they became industrial, industrial metal, groove metal. We find here it is a good album, but also not the thrash metal of Creator. And now, in the 12th place, 
the seventh album of them, Cause for Conflict of 1995. Also an album that uh, continues the way of renewal. In, we, here we have industrial metal, groove metal, but a little bit some things from thrash metal. And now in the 11th place, an album that many people maybe will have objections, and I'm speaking about their 10th album of, of 2001, Violent Revolution. The album, that creator in this album, they, became, they came back to their roots, to their thrust German roots. And in these days, also we have also uh, the, the mascot of, of, of a creator also in the cover art of the album. Uh, but in any case, in these days, many people, they liked the album so much. We have to understand, this album came two years after Endorama, a great uh, uh, difference. So many people, they wanted creator to come back and they came back yes and this is also a very good album here also violent revolution is a very great song but in any case if i take the album in, in today if i will take the album and uh, and compare it to what they came afterwards i put in this place and now in the 10th place for me phantom antichrist their 13th album of 2012. Uh, this is also a very good album, but a little bit more melodic. Ninth place. Their last album, the 14th album of 2017, Gods of Violence. Also, good album, very good album. It continues the way of Phantom Antichrist, and I like it. it even a little bit more from Phantom Antichrist. Okay, eighth place, Hordes of Chaos, their twelfth album of 2009. Yes, this is the third uh, album of thrash metal after uh, their um, return to the roots. I like this album. I, I like this album a lot. And in the seventh place, the eleventh album of them of 2005, Enemy of God. I prefer this album even more than Violent Revolution, even more from Hordes of Chaos and uh, from the, the two last albums of them. This is the epitome of old school thrash metal and also of uh, a style of new thrash metal. Something very, very solid. And now, in the six albums that I will speak now, for me, this is the, th these are the great albums of Creator. Now, in the sixth place, and now, now that also there will be also objections, their fifth album of 1990, Coma of Souls. Coma of Souls. This is also the last album uh, of the Golden Age of thrash metal of them. But in any case, uh, also in this album, uh, the guitarist was uh, the, the guitarist of Sodom, Blackfire. The album is great, with great songs, but a little bit uh, less thrust than the albums before it. Also thrust, but less aggressive thrust, let's say that in, in this way. In the fifth place, their third album, Terrible Certainty, of 1987. This album is uh, the physical uh, schedule, let's say, of A Pleasure to Kill. Great album, unfortunately, because it, it, it is inside the two great albums before it, Pleasure, Ple uh, Pleasure to Kill, afterwards, Extreme Aggression, and for this, for this reason, many people don't speak so much about this album. But also, this is a great creator album. Fourth place. Their debut album, their first album, Endless Pain, 
of 1985. I said before that this album also is not so is is not all only a, a great thrust metal album. It's also very influenced inside the first wave of black metal with songs as a uh, tormentor, flag of hate, also wrote in Christ from Greece. They made covers of these songs. And now, in the third place, one of the creator albums that maybe they are not thrust metal, this is not thrust metal, but for me is inside my heart. I'm speaking about Outcast, their eighth album of 1997, a great, great album. Yes, this album is not thrust exactly. It's a little bit industrial, a little bit groove, and a little bit gothic. Uh, but it's so great, so great. I like it, like I like very much, um, for example, uh, Draconian Times of Paradise Lost, Wild Honey of Tiamat, and Outcast of Creator are in the same uh, level for me. Great, great albums. Yes, this is a great album. This is not Thrash album. This is not the original Creator sound, but it's so great as an album. Also in this album, uh, the guitarist was uh, the former guitarist of Coroner, Tommy Veterli. And many people, they thought also the, the Coroner guitarist was also afterwards in Dorama. And many people, they thought that maybe Creator will, will become a little bit influenced by Coroner. But in any case, they became even more gothic in this album and even more in Endorama afterwards. And now, in the second place, and here uh, I didn't. Uh, in the beginning, I didn't. I, I didn't know what to decide. Uh, I had a conflict. What I will put here, the first or the or the second. I'll, you know, in the, in the second and first place. But in any case, I decided that the second place for me comes "Pleasure to Kill," the second album of 1986. And this is maybe the greatest and the most famous album of Creator. Uh, many people maybe they will put also Come of Souls, Come, uh, Come of Souls in this place, or other people will put Extreme Aggression. But many people prefer A Pleasure to Kill, and I understand them. I understand them. A great, great thrust metal, Teutonic uh, German thrust metal album with a so great cover art. But but in, in any case, for me, in the first place comes Extreme Aggression of 1989, their fourth album. Every song here is great. Extreme Aggression, No Reason to Exist, Love Us or Hate Us, Stream of Consciousness, Some Pain We Last, Betrayer. They made also the video clip in, the, in, in uh, Parthenon of Greece of Athens. Uh, don't trust bringer of torture fatal energy every song here is great for me this is the masterpiece of creator extreme aggression so uh, from israel and from jerusalem stay metal and stay healthy